Hi there, welcome back to another quick and easy watercolor painting. Uh, I'm going to continue this series with the little trees because um, I think there's lots to be learned from these. So if, you, uh, if you're enjoying this series, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear from you if you're not too. I really want to know what uh, everybody wants to see or what everybody wants me to paint. So if you got a, if you have something that you want me to paint, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know. So I got those three trees sort of. Those are going to dry fairly light and way back in the background. And I'm going to put a tree sort of up here with a fairly large branch coming off it and maybe another branch. Coming off this side, I'm going to make this trunk a little bit bigger here. You know, just um, however it is that you think about tree. And that's really what we're going for is how you think about tree. I'm going to put a little bit more water on this. I want this to stay a little bit wet. And I'm going to pick up some blue here. And I'm going to drop some of this blue this very, you know, into the, into the wet, wherever it is that you want to put blue, you know, there's no rules here. All right, that's coming along not too bad. So let's leave that and see what that turns into. If you want to bump up the saturation somewhere, you know, just grab some straight color. Don't rinse your brush off or anything just like that. But I am going to rinse my brush off now. And I'm going to pick up a little bit more of this paint's gray. And I'm going to put another tree right here. Sort of right over top of this. Right over top of this. Just like that. Just paint it right over top of the trees that are already there. Okay, just like that. And you know, the great thing about the flat brush is you can make a wide line, but you can also you know, turn it and make a pretty thin line too. Okay, just like that. If I want to make this tree thicker, I just come down across it like this. All right. Just fun, just have some fun with it. I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to rinse it off and I'm going to pick up a little bit of this yellow ochre and up this side of this tree we're going to make like some uh, golden kind of color, like there is some moss growing on that. That's not too bad at all. I might put a little bit of this yellow ochre into that. See what we get. You could even take this and drop a couple of yellow ochre spots on like that. I'm going to take this brush right now and I'm not going to rinse it out. I'm just going to touch it to the Payne's Gray. Okay. And touch it again to the paint's gray pick up a little bit of intense color and I'm just gonna put it on a few places like that see how that's a little bit too intense just pick up a drop of water just like that and just brush that right off the page just like that and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna touch this to the paint's gray just up a couple of places along here. Maybe the underside of this branch. Oops, better move that back. Once I'm out of frame, that's it, you can't see it. Okay, we're gonna put one more tree in right here. Again, I'm gonna take my Payne's Gray, just right up along there. Again, just right up across there, like that, wherever it is that you want your branches to come off. And then I'm gonna pick up that yellow ochre again. I'm gonna go right into the yellow ochre this time. Right up the side here, just like that. And I actually kinda of like that, so I'm gonna go back to the strong yellow ochre color, and I'm gonna go right up along here, just like that. Okay, so whenever you want to punch up the color, just get rinse your brush off, go right to the color, okay? 
right, touch your brush right into the color, no wash or anything, just right in there like that. Okay, before we go and dry this, I got a bag of salt here. You can use a salt shaker too. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go right along here and right along here and right along here. And that should give that sort of a kind of a cool looking modeled kind of effect. But let's let this dry and uh, see what we get. One more thing here, we don't, uh, I usually add some little splatters to this. So I'm just gonna pick up some paint Add a few splatters in that. Cool. All right, now let's let it dry. Okay, so I took my hair dryer to that. I'm gonna move my paint set out of the way because you don't really wanna get this salt into your paint. Listen to this sound. And you see how much salt I put on there. Like I put quite a bit of salt onto this. And there's some places where it won't come off and that's perfectly fine. It kind of makes kind of a cool effect. I'm gonna dump this off in my garbage can here. This back in frame. All right. You know, some places where that's not going to come off. I don't want to shake the camera too much, but look how this kind of turned out here. This is very cool, all because of the salt, right? You see how, you know, it kind of looks like a tree. I mean, all that kind of model effect that's going on in there. How much can we put this on? Yeah, so our mat, and just slide it left or right, however it is that you want. I kind of like that one right there, actually. All right, thanks for watching. If you're currently a subscriber, thanks a lot. If you're not currently a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to hear from you. If you have a question or a comment, leave it in the comment section. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you again next time.